All right, what a way to start the day. Our Old Church Choir by Zach Williams. Great, great song. And then Open the Clouds by uh, Unspoken. Open the Clouds. Man, we just want to do that this morning. God's opened the clouds with the, with the rain outside, but, you know, we can open the clouds right here where we're at because God will meet you where you're at. You know, I heard that Sunday morning in church. It was kind of crazy. We, we were in church, and God was just really moving, and the Spirit was there, and uh, it was amazing. And they were calling people to the front, and everyone come up and said, you know, if you want to touch from God, you want to move on in your life, you want to do what you need to do, do it now. Here's the time. Come forward. And, you know, I sat there. A lot of times we feel guilty. It's like, man, do I go up? Do I go up, Lord? What do I do? Should I go up? You know, and then you feel bad because you're standing there because everybody else at the front of the room. But I heard, I heard a voice. And I was like, okay, Lord, what do I do? And I heard God tell me, I will meet you here. And he will. He'll meet us right where we're at. We don't have to to move forward because you see everyone else doing it um but you go how you feel led you have to go the way god leads you and the things that you're hearing from him and and i heard it as clear as day i will meet you here you know and and that's what we need to keep in our minds every day that no matter where we're at or what situation we're in god is going to meet you where you're at but we gotta have an open mind and an open heart for it. And I have a, a little story that I wanna read. And it's just funny how God works and things flow together. And don't typically do this, but I, I, I uh, found a, a little book in my Bible today. I hadn't seen it in a, little, in a while, but um, I wanna just read this a little bit. And it's um, maybe for somebody, I don't know, but it just kinda goes along with, with how I felt Sunday in church and what, what God showed me, but it says, uh, I was not aware of it. Be aware of God in your situation. One night, Jacob had a dream. He saw a, a ladder with angels on it, extending all the way up to heaven. And God said to him, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. And that comes from uh, the NIV Bible there. The next morning, Jacob said, the Lord is in this place and I was not aware of it. When it comes to recognizing God at work in your life, you can be spiritually tuned in or be like Jacob and not be aware of him. It was business as usual for Moses the day he noticed the burning bush. Not an uncommon sight in a hot desert climate, except this time the bush kept burning. And when he turned aside and looked, God called to him. You'll have some of your greatest encounters with God in everyday experiences of life. But you have to be open and receptive, otherwise you'll miss him, Arthur William Berry says. Whether we're aware of it or not, at every moment of our existence, we're encountering God, who's trying to catch our attention, to draw us into a reciprocal uh, situation, situational relationship, and you never know where he'll appear or through who he'll speak. After the resurrection, Mary Magdalene thought Jesus was just the gardener. Paul writes, wake up, sleeper. You can be awakened by a miraculous healing or restored relationship or even a great trial. Don't just look for God in your triumphs. Look for God in your troubles, too. Theologian Frederick Bencher said, there is no event so com commonplace but that God is present leaving you room to recognize or not recognize him you know where where are you at today and how will you recognize god and what will he show you who will he use for you we have to be we have to be open-minded and know that god is with us always and everywhere and you never know who he's going to use to get a message through to you you know and um, and that moment for me in church on Sunday when, when everybody felt God working in their life and they went forward, God met me where I was at. Uh, and that's okay. It's okay to, to have God meet you where you're at. And we can't feel bad in a situation like that where you're under pressure and, and want to go forward. But we just have to listen for His voice. And it might not be in, in a church setting. It might not be 
on your greatest day. You know, it, it might be in your biggest trial where you feel like there's no one there, but God is there with you and he stays with you. And, you know, we just have to keep fighting and, and look for God and seek and, and not let um, the things around the world influence us, the people around us influence us um, in ways that would be negative or come against us, but we have to be open-minded to God and look for Him in the, in the things that you do daily, you know, even uh, going to get gas at a gas station, you know, and, and, and someone comes in front of you and you don't know what's going on, but they might just even smile, and God might have a message in that smile from that stranger. Or the smile that you smile at someone will be the light of Jesus shining through. So, just uh, know that. And uh, we're going to get some more music on. I'm done preaching right now. But anyway, you never know how God is going to move or what he's going to do. But you just have to keep going. And uh, fight the good fight. Look for Jesus in everything you do. And uh, he's there. He's there with you. With that, we're going to... We're going to get another song going, and uh, we'll be back with you here in just a little bit.